Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby, and this is going to be my first sort of compilation from the good guy replays that you have been sending me. I've been really enjoying them. And first up, here we see Narma in his chaffee. This Hellcat is on an absolute mission. Narma spotted it a mile off. That was a very satisfying miss. He forced the Hellcat into shooting that corner. And it shows you that not all artillery quite deserve to die. A really good save there. And Nama goes on to pick up a couple more kills in that game. Now we're looking at Kenshi. Kenshi is in QSF. He's driving his E100. And he's playing along with Peaceful Citizen, who's in a 268. Oh god, a T57 Heavy appears. No one wants to get shot by a T57 Heavy. That dangerous autoloader. Kenshi spots that the T-57 Heavy was unloading on his Object 268 friend and blocks a shot like a true pro. Comes up and tracks the T-57 Heavy again. Both the Object 268 and the 121 on his team congratulate Kenshi for uh, that move. And it allowed Peaceful Citizen in his Object 268 take out that dangerous American autoloader without taking nearly as much damage as he could or should have done. Not done yet. Kenshi sees the peaceful citizen is putting himself into another tricky situation and BAM! Rams the WZ120 for 347. Peaceful citizen still misses his shot but thankfully Another trusty E100 behind him. Finishes him off. And really, this is definitely a better love story than Twilight. And this is exactly the kind of grassroots, the kind of candid help that I've been really enjoying watching from all of your replays in this competition. Now we're going to watch something a little bit more amusing. And how many of you have seen this situation? An ally stuck quite early on in the game in a rather ridiculous position. Here we see Lawnmower Workout in his AMX 1375 <laughs> trying desperately to release this Panther 2. It's taking more than one tank to be able to do it. And the IS-3 is now sliding down the slope as well to try and release the Panther 2, driven by 2-2-Rutu-8 to freedom. Thankfully, he manages to free the Panther 2. The IS-3 sees that now the 1375 is stuck. And like a true friend, Lawnmower Workout says, don't bother to come down here, Panther, you're just going to get stuck again. However, the Panther ignores him. And 2-2-Rutu decides to do the good thing. And from here on, Lawnmower Workout goes to have an absolutely incredible impact in the game. Or maybe not, maybe good guys really do finish last. But at least the Panther 2 he saved went on to finish the game in style. Now we're looking at one of the best ones that I received. We have Rap Stars. <laughs> Rap Stars with a Z in his IS2 and Campers 2000 in his Type 58. And these two, they may not be in the same clan. They may not even be in the same platoon, but they're definitely on the same wavelength here and playing the same game. And this is the kind of, the team, the team ship, so to say, that you can build in random games. When it happens naturally, it's just so satisfying. So Rap Stars here is using his IS-2 to great effect, angling his armor and shooting down at the KV-1S and the Cromwell. Now Rap Stars and Camper 2000 have seen that they need to fight down this G-Line. Notorious line for uh, combat this central square of Himmelsdorf. Rapstars is side-scraping. 
Kemper 2000 hasn't quite mastered side scraping yet, as he's going out at a crazy angle. A great hit there into the PZSFL. And Repstar sees that Camper 2000 is stuck. He goes out in front, takes a shot, and he side scrapes in front of the Type 58. Simply incredible. <laughs> Campus is really in it to win it. <laughs> or risking everything that he's got. Now I think that Campus was so amazed that he decides to go out and look after. <laughs> he goes out and tries to look after rap stars. And I'd like to say this is this is not the right way to take damage for your teammate. One going out at 90 degrees. And two, doing it in a very lightly armored medium tank. But hey, maybe he felt so obligated to help Rap Stars out after that amazing show of blocking damage for the team. He was probably bewildered enough to do it. Now Rap Stars is in a tricky situation against a tier 7 German heavy tank while fighting off a Cromwell on the other side. He puts in a good shot into the Tiger. And angles his armor very well against the Cromwell. This is some very good angling in the IS-2 here. Making it very difficult for this tier 6 medium tank to take him out effectively. And he finishes off the Cromwell with an excellent shot at the end there. Thank you so much for this one, Rap Stars. And also Camper 2000. This was a, a really good one to see. And maybe I'm just imagining how you two helped each other out. But I'll live in my fictional happy place world. <laughs> It's a much nicer place to be. However, there's not even a shadow of a doubt what Jayski87 was doing here in his M46 pattern in probably one of the best entries I have seen. Jayski sees that this bat chat is in deep trouble against this Lorraine. And an AMX-12 team literally puts his whole tank in the way to protect him from the Lorraine. And now this is the best bit. Watch this. This 12T is not interested in shooting the pattern. He's only interested in shooting the bat chat as it has less armor. And he's literally not shooting the pattern. And <laughs> Jayski goes backwards, forwards, forwards, backwards to protect the bat chat from all possible fire. It, it's it's got to be one of the best uh, displays that I have seen. Not in a platoon with the guy. Not even in the same clan. That one was fantastic. Thank you so much. This was a great example of protecting less armored allies from fire, knowing that your armor can can make make the difference and you can mitigate that damage for your team. Both Jayski87 and the Bat Chat went on to have a fantastic game. As we can see here, Jack 3DCZ in the Bat Chat went on to do over 3,000 damage. And Jayski87 went on to get the most experience in the game, doing over 2,500 damage. Thank you so much for your replay. This is exactly what I was looking for. And thanks to the people who voted it up on the replays.quickybaby.com portal. I specifically can learn a lot from these guys. And I think that the World of Tanks community as a whole can too. I'll be sending Jayski87 2,500 gold for this replay. Thank you so much. And I hope that everyone else who was featured in this video were happy that they're also the good guys as well, even though they haven't specifically got a gold reward. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider rating it down below. I'd really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments what you think about trying to help people in the random games. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon.